So I'm Peter Larson, and I'm here in Calgary, and I'm talking to Fuad Abud, and you're a Calgary lawyer, as I understand. Yeah, I'm retired now. Retired now. Yeah. And Fuad, where were you born? Uh, I was born in Haifa, Palestine, in 1948. You didn't need to tell us. 1938. 1938. You were born in 1938. So you left Haifa, Palestine. When, when did you leave Haifa? Um, for 19... Uh, 48, I, I think it was January 1948. And why did your family decide to leave uh, uh, Palestine, leave Haifa? Well, there was a lot of violence and uh, people being shot and houses being blown up and my parents felt it was not safe. For example, a relative of my mother, who was a dentist, was shot while walking in the street and nobody could get to him to help him, and he died. Um, Fuad, uh, what were the circumstances of your family? What did your, what did your father do? Or what kind of life did you have there? Well, my father was a businessman, and he actually had a Jewish partner. And um, so he, he was quite uh, a businessman. Mm -hmm. And did, your, did you live in an apartment? you live in a house? So what, what were your circumstances? Well, we, we had an apartment. Uh, my uncle owned the whole block, and there was an apartment building there, and we had one floor of that apartment. And my uncle, who was a wealthy man, lived in a large house across the street from us. Mm. Now, Fred, you showed me a document that I have here, which is a certificate of registration for a piece of property. It says here, your name on it, resident of Haifa, it's dated 1945. It's the government of Palestine. This document is in English. What is this property? Well, this is a property that my father bought for me, uh, as he did for each of, of us children. My father was a great believer in, in having land. Mm -hmm. So for, he bought, we were five children, and he bought a piece of property for each of the children. And this was a property, a piece of land, it was vacant, uh, that he bought for me. It was on Mount Carmel. That's a pretty fancy place now in Haifa. Yes, it was uh, pretty fancy then. It was really nice mm. place. So um, it says here it was worth 3,500 Palestinian pounds. That's what they estimate. The document says here. I, that, at that time, a Palestinian pound was like a British pound. It was a yes, I think it was on par with British uh, with a British pound. Okay. So, what do you do with this property now? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have talked uh, to a, a lawyer, a friend of mine, an Israeli here, and uh, asking him about this, and he thought it was a very valuable piece of property. I said, to what I can do. Uh, I don't think there's much that I can do legally since all the property was taken over by the custodian of absentee properties. So, you, so the, the new state of Israel dis defined you as absentee owner and therefore your property was confiscated, if I understand correctly. Yes, I, along with the property of, of most Palestinians mm -hmm. who, who fled or who were declared to be absentees. Right. Now, um, uh, just so we're clear, why don't you go back there now and reclaim your property? Well, you know what? I, <laughs> I can go back, but only on my Canadian passport. Mm. I cannot go back and say I was born there. Why don't I reclaim the property? I think there were actually uh, some uh, cases brought before a court where Palestinians were claiming their property. In Israel. In Israel. And... These were Palestinians who were, who actually had citizen Israeli citizenship and who had stayed behind, mm -hmm. but who were declared absentees, and the courts denied their case. I um I know that you were one of um, a, a large number of Palestinians who lost um, property. Um, this what what do you want to do now? Would you if if Israel tomorrow was to say okay, you have the right to return to uh, to Israel? Would you want to move back and live in Israel? Or what would be your thinking? Well, you know, Peter, uh, uh, Peter, I've been here for most of my life. I'm quite happy to be Canadian. 
I think there are far too many people in, the, uh, in that area. I'm happy to stay here, but I'd like that a just uh, resolution and compensation be paid for the property. Well, I must say that I think that many Canadians would agree with you. Fouad, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs>